Welcome back, Baba. Thank you. Who'd you bring with you? I brought a good buddy of mine, DJ Tambi. <sighs> He's the most versatile. He's the best artist I know. Bubba's asked me to take him under his wing, and I've taught him a lot of things since. I'm not the artist that sticks to one style. Every day is something different for me. Everything we touch, we're gonna crush. Yeah. Crush every single thing. DJ and I have known each other for several years. DJ is an incredible artist, and he's fast, and he's efficient. We're done. We're testing composition by giving these artists color realistic battle scenes. Now this is kind of what we're thinking. Beautiful. Cool, yay, awesome. There's many different elements that are occurring at once. There's movement, you have flesh, you have cloth, there's a foreground, and you have a background. And that all takes composition to execute. Do you want to do anything above it? Yeah, like we can do like a little trail here, detail these stuff in front of the boat. I'm definitely giving my input on this one. I'm making sure that DJ hears me. Looking good, DJ. If he listens to me and if I listen to him, I think we could pull this off. That's dope. Keep underestimating me while we keep winning. Today, you had to create battle scenes with clear composition. Old Town Inc. You see the foreground, you got a couple little images floating up close. The ship sitting nicely on the plane in the water, and then you have the horizon line in the back. It gives it depth. You've got a tiny little inference of these palm trees in the background to show that this is, in fact, Hawaii. You guys did a beautiful tattoo. You worked your asses off in six hours. There you go. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> OK, judges, it is time to announce tattoo of the day. There's no debate in my mind that it's Old Town. I don't think anybody else in the room gets close to hitting it. Congratulations, guys. Old Town Inc., best tattoo of the day. Artists. You have six hours to show your ingenuity by tattooing a new school design. And your time begins now. Show time. Let's do it. All right. Doing a new school tattoo in a competition setting can be difficult because there's a million styles in new school. Like that? Just a little bit more. Boom. These artists are going to have to use ingenuity because we've seen it all. We're looking for these guys to come out and be original and take a swing at having fun with a piece of art. We got six hours, Bob. If you can't sit, hey, no, if you can't good, sit through it, we're gonna have to tell you just stop it. We're gonna no, have no, to go tattoo it, ourselves. Go for it. Go, I'm, I'm good. I don't mean to be like that, but it's serious to us. It's like 200 grand. I'll suck it up. This kid's chewing his arm off. He's shaking. I'm about to lose it on this canvas right now. What are you working on? I'm drawing just in case you can't sit, <laughs> and we have to tattoo each other. I'm not gonna leave on you. All right, all right. <laughs> I've worked so hard in my career to get to this point. If this kid sends us home, I don't know what I'll do. Today, you had to prove your ingenuity. Old Town Inc. I love how vibrant the space and the background of this thing is. It's just enough to let you know what's going on. That shows ingenuity. Space is tricky, man. You did it right by leaving a lot of this open skin in the astronaut, so you use that contrast to your benefit. I love the way the tattoo ends. It doesn't end the same way all around, but it just has a very fluid flow. The judges have decided that the best tattoo of the day goes to Old Town Inc. Old Town Inc., an unkindness art. One shop will go to the live finale to fight for the title of Master Shop, and one shop will go home. It all depends on this elimination tattoo. You and your teammate have depended on your collective strength as a shop. You win together, and you lose together. Today is no exception. Uh... There's no better way to prove the strength of your shop than tag team tattooing two canvases at the same time. Man. You will switch canvases every hour, seamlessly picking up where your teammate left off. Damn. Yeah, damn. You guys just can't stop us, can you? <laughs> this is crazy. You have to get used to a tattoo in one hour, and the second you get used to it, you have to start another tattoo and get used to that in an hour. It's mayhem. For your first canvas, the style and subject are completely up to you. But for your second canvas, the power is in the hands of your opponent. The opposing shop will choose the style and subject you'll tattoo. Unkindness Art, what style and subject will Old Town Inc. tattoo? Color realism, full-bodied raven. Color realism's pretty hard to pull off in six hours, and they've already struggled with a raven this season, so. They knew that we got hit hard from a raven already from the judges, and color realism in six hours, this is stuff that takes multiple sittings, so they're trying to screw us, too. Your canvases have been randomly assigned and you will have six hours to tattoo, switching every hour. Head to your shops, and we'll bring in your canvases. And good luck. Good Thanks, luck, y'all. Look here. Did you say a raven or a crow? Aaron, did you say a raven or a crow? Raven. OK. Unkindness, it's like a group of ravens. You mean unkindness doesn't mean, like, mean? Because that's what you guys are today. 
Okay, American traditional hot rod. Nice to meet you. Hey, Emma. Nice to meet you. Bubba likes realism a lot more, so I let Bubba take the reins on the Raven. I drew this messing around the other day. I'm gonna do a badass snake. I love it. Sweet. And you like color and all that? Yeah. I'm gonna blow them away. So obviously the outside is like a solid black. You gotta feel great going into any challenge, but there's always that little bit of nervousness, knowing that we have to switch off and work on each other's pieces. I can't be creeping over Bubba's shoulder. I gotta just let it go. All right, what's up, homeboy? You know, just taking over somebody else's tattoo. Yeah, no, no big whoop. Sorry, dude, I'd be talking a lot more if I wasn't fighting for dear life, basically. Do what you gotta do. Ravens are tricky. There's a ton of black, but you can't put them all black. Otherwise, it looks like a black blob. This is photorealism, so the thing's got to be perfect. It's got to look like a photograph. If I don't hit this, we're going home. There's no finale for us, and I'm not going to let that happen. One hour left. Swap artists. What needs to be done? Uh, solid yellow belly. OK. Even that edge. Eyes are bright yellow. Knowing this is the last tattoo, our last chance to shine, we're pulling out all the tricks. We're going to finish number one, and that spot in the finale is ours. I love it. This is insane. God damn, that's awesome. Today, you had to tag team tattoo two canvases at the same time, proving your strength as a shop. One of you will move on to fight for the title of Master Shop, and for one of you, this is the end of the line. Old Town Inc. Unkindness handed you the raven. What I like about this piece is that I can feel the realism if I were to run my finger over it. The fur in the head is almost touchable. The only areas that I have issues with are the upper layers of these wings that lose the same detail that you have throughout the piece. The top left shoulder of the bird could have blended in a little more, but for a six hour tattoo, this was a big, big challenge. Okay. Let's move along. PJ, you guys chose this snake. Yes, sir. It's stylistic, it's strong, it's bold, but more than anything, it's the best snake we've seen in Ink Master. Thanks. By far. Damn, dude. You've got great composition, line work, you've got color saturation. You've got a lot of things that we look for all season long wrapped up into one big tattoo. I couldn't agree more. There's so many differences between both these tattoos. To be done by the same two people is pretty impressive. Thanks. All right, judges, this is it. Time to determine which shop had the best tattoos of the day and earns the third spot in the live finale. I think we're looking at four good tattoos. Old Town, you did two tattoos that fill up the space, two tattoos that show a lot of drive and a lot of energy. Oh, yeah. You guys smoked it. Clearly, for me, you guys take it. My vote is also for Old Town, Inc. <laughs> Judges have decided. Old Town, Inc., you are headed to the finale. Thank you guys so much. We demolished this competition. We totally earned this. We deserve to be Master Shop, 100%. You ready to check this thing out, dude? Yep, let's do it. Massive. Oh my god. Yeah. For these two master canvases, we want them to look totally different. One illustrative color, poppy, look like a sticker, and one look like you can pull it off the back. It's so realistic. Woo! The tear is going to be a little bit exaggerated, probably darken up her eyes a little bit. It's beautiful, man. This is going to be so sick. Really hope we have enough time, man. These are huge. This whole competition, it's been Bubba's riding DJ's back. DJ's carrying Bubba through this whole thing. But he worked just as hard as I did, if not harder. Came a long way, man. We came further than all these other guys. Reveal the tattoo, guys. I think seeing large scale black and gray done like this is amazing. This caters directly to the Japanese bodysuit style. I love seeing big work like this, it's impressive. I think the areas where you hit the really rich black under the nose, in the sockets of the eyes, you get those dark tones in the top of the lip, really push this face forward. I think overall the coverage that you guys get and the amount of time and taking that risk was really, really well thought out and well played. My only critique on it is I wish that it had a little more of the rich black in the filigree areas to balance a bit. Otherwise, you guys killed it. Guys, I really like the tattoo. I, I think it's, it's gorgeous, and I think it's a really interesting take to do something so massive, back piece like that, with so much open skin. I mean, there's so much negative space there to make this thing really readable from far away. Really soft, really well done. Thank nice you. job, guys. Tony, Black Cobra, 
you've already revealed a six hour live tattoo, you've already revealed a 35 hour black and gray back piece. And now it's time to reveal your 35 hour color back piece. That is a total of 76 hours of tattooing to secure the title of Master Shop. Old Town Inc., let's kick it off with you. Here we go. There we go. A lot of coverage, a lot of big risks. Dropping that tail all the way down past his butt cheek onto his thigh. Beautiful placement, hell of a risk. A lot of coverage. For me, looking at the tattoo, immediately the neck, the connection to the neck, the loss or lack of scales, the position of where the spine is in relationship to where the belly turns are off. The connection of the horn to the head is also off. The the spine right there would need to line up and drop around parallel to the, to the belly. So the two yellow lines separating need to ride together. That's the big sore thumb for me in this tattoo. Otherwise, the flow of the tattoo and the coverage, color palette, spot on. The judges have decided unanimously. Old Town Inc. <laughs> What's up with DJ? How's he doing over there? This guy is flowing over here, Dave. Let me tell you, cameraman, do me a favor. Just come in here and take a look at this work. It really has a delicate touch with such an aggressive edge. But more than my rambling, how do you feel, man? Second time Ink Master history, two competitions back to back. Um, I, I feel great. I feel, I feel great. Nice, yeah. man. Vegas, Vegas strong. Vegas strong! I took a lot of heat this season. Um, anytime I was being harsh, it just stemmed from my passion. I'm super passionate about tattooing. I'm super passionate about anything art. And I think some of my harshness is what got Josh Payne to that stage and is what made me win last year, so. Passion over paycheck! So this is kind of what I was thinking. It's like a religious Tibetan mask. I don't get to do many heads, but I'm always down for a challenge. And how far down the neck is this gonna go? How far down do you want it to go? I want my whole neck covered. Cool. One thing I'm known for is my speed, so if I can get something bigger than the other two coaches, I'm down. Nobody's going this big. This is stressful. There's no way I'm letting Steve or Anthony get in the way of my back-to-back -back title. And finally, DJ, come on down, man. DJ, you chose the snake, correct? Yes, I did. Yeah, yeah. it's obvious. Yeah. I mean, the snake is killer. Thanks. Great job on that. All right, DJ, as always, you went huge. Design-wise, I think this thing is pretty flawless, man. I love the details in the snake. I love your style and the design of snake. I think that you've really got a trademark here. And your color fades from all the way down the middle of the snake are perfect everywhere you see it. The placement of the moon shape behind the snake with the beautiful jewels dropping off, and then the placement of the red circle perfectly above it. If you look at the contours, and you look at the way that those two shapes ride the primary shape, this thing's thought out incredibly well and executed just like that. Thanks. But what I gotta say, my favorite part about this tattoo, of all three, this fits the shape of this woman's leg perfectly. I mean, this thing is placed with the contours of the body and really looks naturally beautifully there. Killer job, dude. Thanks a lot, bud. In the most brutal test this competition has ever seen, the coaches also had to tattoo 24 hour head tattoos. And based on these tattoos alone, the judges will put the second coach into the top two. DJ, you are up. Wow, DJ, clearly you didn't go small. Nope, uh, I wanted it to look from the top. If he puts his head straight down, look at the crowd. He's got a mask on the top of his head that slides up. The tassels ride the side. And I also wanted pieces that went together, but they are their own pieces from top 
to back. When he's walking backwards, people think that's a skeleton with a third eye with his brain cut out. Every way you look at this guy's head, there's something going on that's interesting and, and intriguing. You look at the top of this guy's head, there's no doubt that thing is super tight, that's super clean. To me, the top of the head is really, really, really strong. When we get down and we get to the skull, the way that you have those negative pieces that come out of the eyes and come onto the side of the head, beautiful. What gets me on this one is just the halos that you have on the lines up on the top of the flower on both sides of the shoulder. Guys, I need a final decision. I think DJ takes the snake. I love what Anthony did with those two portraits, but I gotta say, man, going for overall art, overall creativity, and overall wow factor, my vote is for DJ. Yeah! That means the winner of Return of the Masters and $100,000 is DJ. Yeah!